Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I'm the owner of Damn Fancy Creations and the Drunk Flamingo Glitter. If you guys are new to my channel, I do want to let you know that all of my groups and links will be posted in the description below in case you guys want to check those out. Today's tutorial is a little different than my normal videos. I typically do epoxy glitter tumblers. I do dabble in a few different crafts such as keychains, pins, or even car freshies. And if you are like me, you like to craft everything. So I thought it would be fun to do a few Halloween crafts this year. Everything that we're going to be using can be purchased at the Dollar Tree, which makes these crafts even better that everything is so affordable. I saw one of these bathtub skeletons on TikTok. It was more of a cutesy version with a little bath cap and jewels. I wanted to make mine a little bit more darker and Halloween creepy, and I thought that it turned out so fun. I love the stacked skeletons and the dome with the lights behind it. It just is the perfect decor to sit on a shelf on your mantle in your bathroom. Just something to add a little creepy to your home for Halloween. If you guys have any questions about things that I go over or items I used, please ask below and I will come back and answer them for you. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get started on this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. guys so the first craft we're going to do is our bathtub skeleton here are all the items I used this is just a white little bathtub I found in the kids toy section these fun skeletons they do light up they are motion sensitive they make a very loud noise so if you want to scare your husbands at 4 a.m. when they get ready to work these are perfect um, I also purchased some little pearls these little foam balls and a pack of clear marbles. So I am going to spray paint this bathtub. This is how it ended up looking. I just used flat black by Rust-Oleum. I used Cheers Color Shot and Metallic Copper. This just gave it a nice kind of antique -y look. And once the bathtub is dry and we're ready to work with it, we can start kind of disassembling our skeleton. I am just breaking his bones pretty much at the joints. So we can kind of hot glue them and arrange them how we want. His legs were a little bit hard to break. If yours are a little hard to break, you can just kind of cut a little bit with your scissors and then you can snap the rest of it off pretty easily. And then you're kind of going to decide what position you want your skeleton to be formed in. You can have him just lying in the bathtub if you want, his legs hanging out, however you want to do it. I actually wanted mine to be kind of sitting in the tub with his legs bent. And I'm going to form his arms so that it can look like he's holding some bubbles. So once you decide how you want his arms and legs formed, you're going to hot glue his joints in place so that they don't move. So I'm gluing his legs up so that I can attach the knees so it will look like his knees are kind of bent and they will be poking out of the bubbles. And this is how I want his arms. They're just going to be kind of angled down so that we can attach the second part of his arm and his hands kind of angled upwards so he can hold some bubbles in the tub. So I'm just seeing where exactly I need to glue the legs, kind of what angle I need them at. And then I'm going to move him out of the tub and glue the rest of his legs together. Okay. 
And if you want to use a gel super glue or something like that, you can, but it will need to be reinforced with hot glue or a different type of adhesive. You could probably use UV resin if you wanted to, but super glue is kind of brittle, so it would probably break a little easier. Hot glue kind of gives some flexibility. And I am just reinforcing the back of his knees with hot glue as well so that it has a strong bond. So I'm just taking some pliers right now and I'm bending his fingers upwards. I don't want to break this hand completely off. I just want to bend his fingers. I did this with the skeleton wreath I made also so I knew that I could bend the fingers without breaking them, but I did do it very carefully. And once you get your fingers bent to how you want them, I'm just deciding kind of how I want his hands placed. And the great thing about this is it is hot glue. So if you mess up, it is very easy to remove. The glue peels off very easily. So you can peel the glue off and reposition it if you want to. And I'm doing the same thing for the elbows. I'm just going in with more hot glue and reinforcing that hold so that it's not going to snap off when I'm kind of attaching the other arm. And then I just put a little bit of glue on his hands so that they're going to be together, kind of overlapping a little bit. And again, just reinforcing those joints. We are going to cover those with bubbles later so it's not just a huge glob of hot glue which it is clear anyway, so it's not super noticeable. So now our little skeleton is complete. So I am going to take some aluminum foil and we're going to form kind of a seat for him so I'm making a little indention where his little booty is gonna sit. And I am squeezing the center part so that will go between his legs. And I am making this little aluminum foil base so that I don't have to spray paint or seal the bathtub. Just in case I mess up with these little balls, it's not going to be in the tub. It's not going to be a mess. I can just throw away the aluminum foil piece. So I spray painted the aluminum foil piece black. And now I'm going to spray it with clear gloss spray so that it is sticky. And we're going to take that piece and just dump it down into the foil balls so that it is covered with these foil balls. So it kind of looks like soap bubbles and I did this twice and then spray sealed it really well and once that was completely dry I just added a little bit of hot glue down into the bathtub so now our base is pretty covered with the foam balls and we're not having to kind of put foam balls underneath his legs or anything like that but I do want to cover the black foil and any of the little cracks. So I am just squeezing some hot glue on. I am pouring some foam balls on. I am going to cover his feet with these balls as well. So I'm just kind of pressing the foam balls into the hot glue 
and then I dump out the excess into the little plastic container that I have. And I'm doing the same thing for the back half. I'm just squeezing the glue in between the aluminum foil and the bathtub so that all those little cracks are covered. And then dump out the excess. And I'm pretty happy with that coverage. So now I'm going to take my clear marbles and we're just going to start gluing them in there. These represent just really large soap balls and they definitely add more visual interest to the piece. So I'm just kind of sticking these all over. And then I remembered I had these little styrofoam bones. I also got these at the Dollar Tree. I had a few left over from the wreath I made. I spray painted these black for my frame wreath. And I had a few left over, so I thought, why not add these to the skeleton's bath? It seems like something a skeleton would have in their bathtub. I don't know. <laughs> So I am adding one of these glass marbles to his hand like he's holding a large bubble. I'm adding a little hot glue to his hands and I am adding some of these little foam balls as they go everywhere. And I'm just kind of filling this little tub up with these glass marbles. I'm not covering every inch of the tub because I still want the contrast from the white styrofoam balls to the clear marbles. And now we're also going to add some pearls. This pack had, I believe, four different sizes. So I'm just adding these little pearls to different places in the tub. And now we're going to add some more foam balls to his hands. And then we're going to add some little pearls to his hand. So he's holding a little bit of everything. So now I'm pretty happy with how the tub looks itself. I'm happy with him holding what he's holding. So I'm just going to take some of the little styrofoam balls and some of the little pearls and we're just going to put them on him like some bubbles are on his bones. And we're going to strategically place them to cover the hot glue that is holding his joints together. I'm doing the same thing for his knees, like he just lifted his knees out of the bubbles and some are still sitting on top of his knees. Add a few coming down his leg.
And if you don't have nails like I do, I would probably suggest applying the balls with tweezers or something like that so you don't burn your fingers because hot glue is very hot as soon as it is squeezed out. But I just placed everything with my nails. So I was pretty happy with how he was turning out. And I will tell you guys that I added him to my guest bedroom and turned him on. And when my husband came home from work and he went into that bathroom, it turned on and scared him half to death. So that was super hilarious for me. So that is it for this tutorial. Now we're going to move on to our stacked skeleton dome. And I thought this was really fun. I just love little decor like this. This little dome, they had tons of them at the Dollar Tree. These orange LED lights and these pack of skulls were all from the Dollar Tree. Here is what the package looks like for the skulls in case you guys want to know. We're also going to use a few more of these little marbles. So this is just something fun. I just have it sitting on my kitchen counter next to a little potion bottle. So we're basically going to spray paint the base of our dome as well as our skulls. I just used matte black and now we're going to put everything together. So these are the LED lights. They do have a little battery pack. They run on AA batteries. The batteries are not included. And I did not have my tiny screwdriver down here with me, so I just settled for opening it halfway. <laughs> now we're going to put it back together. I just wanted to see if they worked, and they did. They were super bright. I was actually surprised at how bright they were coming from the Dollar Tree. I think there are 10 lights on this strand, so there's a decent amount of lights. You could even purchase these and use them for mantle decor wrapped in your wreaths or something like that. So I'm basically just going to take my first skeleton, we're going to glue him down, and I thought it would be fun to add some marbles. My idea was thinking that the lights would kind of reflect off of the marbles and they did so I was really happy about that. When you're placing your marbles or anything on this dome you have to make sure that the lid has enough room to close. So I did have to move my first marble over a little bit and I'm just kind of stacking these in random places wherever they will fit. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to stack my second skeleton. I thought that three would fit, but three was a little bit too tall, the dome would not shut. I glued one and it was a hassle trying to squeeze everything down and together. So I took him off and instead of another skull, I just added another glass marble just to give it a little bit more visual interest. And I didn't feel like painting him again, so we just added a little marble. And he was perfect. So now that I have my skeleton stack completed, I am going to add the fairy lights to the dome part of this project. And I'm going to kind of weave them back and forth on one side of the dome so that when we add our skeletons, 
all of the lights will be behind the skeletons. So they look kind of backlit. So I'm just going to slide my little skeletons in there and we will light them up. And they're super cute. I love how they turned out. I think this is just really cute decor. You can add it to small spaces, shelves, anything like that. Use it as a nightlight during Halloween. But yeah, these were super fun projects. I'm going to add some finished pictures of both projects at the end in case you guys want to check them out. So here's our little bathtub skelly, just some close up shots of him. I did end up adding another little black skull to the tub. I thought it was the perfect finishing touch. These little potion bottles and the little black skull you see also are from Dollar Tree. They have some super fun stuff if you guys have not been. I don't know what we should name our little skeleton. If you guys have suggestions, let me know below. And here are some finished pictures of our lighted skull dome. If you guys decide to try any of these projects or have other Dollar Tree projects you want me to try, just let me know below in the comments. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group or my damn fancy tribe. Both are on Facebook and linked in the description. Thanks for watching.